When developing applications for projection map displays, we often want the application to be displayed on a secondary monitor or even use two monitors. For example, a primary kiosk monitor and a secondary dome display. This tutorial shows you how to use Omnity's target display mode to do just that. We'll need to do a few things. First, we'll duplicate the final pass camera, Omnity's name for the projector output. Then we'll rename them to flat and dome. Next, we'll set the dome final pass camera's target display to be the secondary monitor. Finally, we'll set the flat final pass camera's camera settings to be that which would be appropriate for a flat kiosk display. Because Omnity's cameras are created at runtime from configuration, we will need to do these steps through either the configuration files or Omnity's built-in config menu. To open the configuration menu, press Control shift o while the game's running. The window that pops up is Omnity's configuration window. Config file name refers to the configuration file that you will be loading when you start up the project. Config.xml is the default XML file, but we can create a new one called demo, and I'll save it. Next to the text box is a plus button. If you open that, you'll see a list of all of the configuration files you have in the configuration directory. Right now, it's just demo.xml, so I'll set this one to be the default by pressing the checkbox to the right of it. Now that we have demo XML checked as the default configuration file, it'll load as the default next time. Let's duplicate the Final Pass camera. Click the plus button next to Final Pass cameras and scroll down. Now you'll see that there's a single Final Pass camera. If you click the plus button to the right of the screen, it will duplicate it. Now we have two Final Pass cameras. But you won't be able to tell any difference because they're both displaying on the main display one. We're going to take the second Final Pass camera and change it to have a target display of display two. So I'm going to check apply display target on load and then it's going to give us the option to use unity display second. So now we have two displays, one going to the primary monitor and one going to the secondary monitor. So I'll call the secondary monitor dome and I'll call the first monitor flat. So now I'll save it and then when we reload it, we're still getting a dome output on the main monitor because we haven't changed the settings yet. But if we add another tab, and then here we set display two in Unity's editor, we'll see that we have a secondary monitor on display two. So I'm just gonna pop this one out so we can we can look at it separately. Now these two displays are gonna be independent. The next thing we're going to do is set the final pass cameras camera setting. For the flat final pass camera, we're going to set the culling mask to be, instead of final pass camera layer, I suggest just checking all and then unchecking the dome final pass cameras. So final pass layer, final pass layer, alt. Uncheck those. Next, we're going to set the projector type to be rectilinear. And then under Omnity perspective matrix, you can set the field of view. If you don't want to set the left, right, top, and bottom field of view independently for this uh, kiosk display, you can also just set under matrix mode, horizontal FOV, and then type in the horizontal FOV. So I'll just use 90 for now. I guess we'll use 0.1 to 2000 as the near and far clip plane. You'd set these to match your normal camera. Now I'm going to save this and then reload it and we'll see a couple differences here. First thing that's kind of weird is you'll you can't really tell very well but it's actually pointing up at the sky this camera and that's because we have this 
local Euler angle set to minus 90. So if we just set that to, to zero, you'll see that it's now level. The other thing that you'll notice is the sky is black. And that's because we have the clear flags color set to a color instead of skybox. So set the clear flags to skybox. I guess we're going to have to save and reload it to see the difference. Now we have on the flat monitor a display appropriate for a kiosk and on the secondary monitor a dome output. So let's save this and check it out. Yeah, looks great. A couple things to remember. First, make sure you are editing the Omnity configuration on Display 1. If you press Control shift o while Display 2 is checked, the Omnity configuration window will not show up on the secondary display, only the main one. And remember that if you have the dome output set to the secondary display, you're not going to see it on the main game window. So make sure you have these two windows open when you're editing the Omni configuration files. Finally, remember to save it when you're done. If you haven't registered Omni yet, the next thing I recommend is registering Omni through the Illuminati website with your email and invoice number. So we can send you a free goodie pack full of enhancements and configuration files for various dome types that will make your life much easier.